Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Reedsy. Today we're going to be talking about writing picture books and answering some commonly asked questions about picture book writing. We talked about the illustration side of this on Tuesday and how to hire an illustrator, so if you have questions about that specific part of the process, um, I will leave that video for you to check out in the cards and in the description. Today we're going to talk more about the writing process and answer some frequently asked questions about this category. Now many people are misled into thinking that picture books are easy to write because they're for kids, but they're actually quite difficult. You're essentially telling an entire narrative arc. You're kind of condensing a short story or a novel into a poem, so it's quite difficult. So that leads us to our first question, which is what's the word count for a picture book? So picture books typically should be between 500 and 700 words and you should not go over 1000, but really aim for the shorter end of that. 600, 500 is a great place to be. Picture books are an industry standard of 32 pages. They all fall in the same format with 26 to 28 of those pages reserved for the actual story. So you don't have a ton of space, especially considering that, you know, in a picture book, most of the page isn't filled with words. It may seem like very little, but do keep in mind you won't have a lot of description in your picture book because that will be supplemented by the illustration. So most of the words are going to be dialogue or action, things that are moving the plot forward rather than passive things like description. Picture books are interesting because they have things in common with pretty much every form. The writing style is kind of like a poem in a way. The narrative structure is like a short story or like a novel in terms of narrative arc. The visual aspect is almost like a movie. So the next question is what is the target age range for a picture book? So board books are for babies between the age of 0 and 24 months and they're those books that um, the pages are like made of cardboard so that they will survive if babies chew on them. What we're primarily talking about is picture books one step up from board book. These are usually for preschool aged kids but can actually go all the way up to age seven. After that you get into early readers. Um, if you have more questions about age categories in children's literature we've got an entire video on different children's age categories. So a very common question is do they need to rhyme? The answer is your picture book probably shouldn't rhyme. The general rule with rhymes is only do them if you know you can do them well, but for the most part you probably shouldn't be. In fact, publishers nowadays are not really interested in rhyming picture books. They don't really want to look at your rhyming picture book. And it's actually a bit of a misconception that picture books need to rhyme. Unless done perfectly, it will feel forced and awkward. What's more important is rhythm and repetition. You can create the same poetic flow by paying attention to the rhythm of your sentences and using repetition without using rhyme, which is so hard to do right and should probably be steered clear of. Next up is how old should the character be? So as with most children's age categories, ranging all the way from picture books up to YA, the main character should be around the same age as the reader. So in this case, you want to aim for characters who are under the age of seven. Even if your character is an inanimate object or an animal, like if you're writing about a squirrel or if you're writing about a robot or something like that, you still want the animal or the inanimate object to be written in a childlike way so they seem like a child character. Next up is what level should the language be? So it should be clear and simple, but not baby talk. Remember, these books are read to children, not by them. So you're not mimicking the way that children talk. You're writing in a way that is accessible to them, but will actually continue to help them develop their linguistic skills and maybe even teach them new words. So you're not trying to write at the linguistic ability of a three-year-old. You're writing in a way that a three-year-old can understand, even if they wouldn't speak that way themselves. And of course, you want to make sure that you're using active voice. Next up, what structure does a picture book take? Like I've mentioned, picture books do have complete narrative arcs shrunken down into about 28 pages. And since picture books are an industry standard of 32 pages, um, including the front and back matter, we can actually break down the structure page by page. So the beginning, your first act, goes up until around page seven. And then your rising action, or the middle act, goes until around page 16 to 19. The rest will be the final act. Each scene will be two pages. So when you have the book, you know, it's like this. You have a two page spread, that's one scene. And then you turn the page, you have another two page spread, that will be another scene. And so you wanna think about your last line of every scene as kind of being the hook or the cliffhanger. So it ends with something 
suspenseful or something interesting to hold a young reader's attention. And finally, what is back matter? You might hear this term thrown around when talking about picture books. Back matter is additional information or facts at the end of a book. It's basically a way to expand on the book's theme or content outside of the book's actual narrative. This isn't something that a child will be reading themselves, but it's more of a tool for parents, teachers, librarians to use if they're teaching the book in a classroom setting or just want to discuss the book more with their kids or students. You won't see this in every picture book. A lot of picture books are just like fun stories, but some picture books are on like topical issues and so a lot of them will have this extra back matter to kind of expand on those ideas so the book can be used as like a teaching tool. Again, not all books need back matter, but it's totally something you can include if you think it would make sense for your book. So those are some commonly asked questions about picture books. Have you ever written a picture book? I would love to hear about it in the comments or what was your favorite picture book from when you were a kid? My favorite was Goodnight Moon. I wanted Goodnight Moon read to me like every <laughs> every single day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time!